Hello. 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 Hi, good evening. Yes, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, that's good. So, can we start now? Are you ready? Yes. All right, that's good to hear. So, now let's start at this page. So, last night we already discussed about the verb modifiers with going to. Okay, so now can you please read another example? Start here. Uh, Jock works. Jock is he never, he is ever going to give up eating burgers. Okay, the second. Ross doesn't decide, but he thinks he is going to join the team. How about the next one? And I hope she is going to get on basketball team. All right, next. Christina knows she is going to do well in the marathon. All right, very good. So these are the examples about modifiers with going to. All right, so next we have here cross the I mean cross out the incorrect words in each sentence. So we have an example. Here is an example. Annabelle, the correct answer is knows she's going to start swimming lessons next week. So that is the correct sentence. So now try to answer number one. Please read and tell me your answer. Okay. Very certainly going to run the next marathon to raise money for charity. All right. The correct answer is? Certainly. How about next? Number two. Um, and uh, hope she is going to improve her fitness level by going to a gym. All right, number three. Uh, a man think he going to try kickboxing after his judo classes have finished. Okay, next. Again, infinitely going to stop eating fast food, but he will try to eat more food. Okay, very good. All right, so next we have 37.10. So we write the sentence as correcting the error. So an example, the other team is really good. I doubt we're, I mean, we going to win. So the correct sentence is the other team is really good. I doubt we're going to win. Okay, so it's not we, but it's were. Okay. That's the correct okay. sentence. All right. So now try answer for number one. Just read first the sentence. I think. I am going to go jogging, but in a little instead. Okay. Then the answer is. Going to, to, to go jogging. Okay, correct. Number two. They are probably going to finish the marathon, but it's going to be right. They are probably going to finish the marathon. All right, the answer is. They are going to finish the marathon. Okay, number three. 
position the is not going to play tennis now. Is the answer she, is her name. She is not going to play tennis now. Okay, perfect. Number four. Uh, you are going to give to me look great after working out so much. Uh, you are definitely going to look great after working out so much. Okay, perfect. Number five. It's in two minutes to go down and I think I'm not going to pay. It's in two minutes. And then the answer is? It's in two minutes going to down. I think I am going into bed. Okay. All right, good job. Very good. Next, let's now proceed for the 37.11. So this one, please read. Start here. Who sees, who sees properly going to be picked for the festival team? Lucy definitely going to eat healthier food. Lucy thinks she is going to be picked for the basketball team. Lucy thinks she is going to eat healthier food. All right, perfect. So next, let's have now the vocabulary. So these are the following examples about the vocabulary, which is the weather and the climate. So here are the examples of words and the pictures. So start here. It's, what do you call this one? Next. One. Five. Cold. This one? Okay, this one. Chilly. Cold. Freezing. This? Uh, snow. Big. Snow. Big. This one? Rental. Freeze. Light shower. Yeah, All right, this. Um, let's go. Well, hurricane, typhoon, cyclone, tornado, blizzard. Okay, next we have. This one? Thunder, sunstone, Okay, very good. So, another example we have. Start here. A gray sky. A gray sky. Blue sky. This one? Small. Oh, it has rainbow. Okay, next. Uh, no, snow bread. Snow stone. This one? Two. Dirt. Deep way. Okay, we have flood, drought, and heat wave. How about this one? 
Well, well, drive to humidity. Okay, we have wet, dry, and humidity. Okay, so the other side, we have here about the weather adjective. So please read sunny, I mean sun, sunny. Can you read start here? Outside. Next. Cloud. Cloud. Cloudy. Next one. Cloud. Cloud. This one. Rain. Rain. Okay, next. Snow, snow, snow. This one. Frost, uh, ice, ice. This one. Frost, uh, frosty. This one. Wind, windy. Okay, next. How about this? Storm, stormy. Uh, under, under. Okay. All right. So these are the weather's adjectives. Next, here is the predictions and promises. Now, please read the definition or the meaning. You can talk about the future. You can English using the word rules, group construction, and so the meaning of different from the future using going to. Okay, so you can talk about future events in English using the verb will. So this is the verb, which is the will. So this construction has several meanings, which are all different from the future using going to. Okay, so will or it could be going to it somewhat, I mean, somewhat like the same. Okay, so here are the examples. The future using will. Okay, so before we proceed for the examples, please read this one first. English. English use will when talking about the future in so many ways. Okay, so when we say English, it uses the word will when talking about the future in four many ways. So here are the four many ways. So first is, please read. The first one is, please read the example. Wait a few minutes, I think it will stop rain soon. Stop okay. Rain soon. All right. Wait a few minutes. I think it will stop raining soon. So from the word, it will stop. So that means it's the prediction, okay? It's only the prediction, all right? So it's only the prediction. It's not based on evidence, okay? So this is to make prediction about what you think will happen, all right? So it's not sure. It's only the prediction, okay, that maybe for him or for her, it will stop raining soon or later, okay? But there's no evidence for that, right? So that's the first example. The second ways about the future will is, please read. You look frozen, I will make you some hot soup. Okay, you look frozen. I'll make you some hot soup. So this one to offer to do something for someone, okay? So you are offering to someone or you're giving to someone, okay? So that is the second way about the future will. All right, so next, please read. Will be. We will be back 
by 8. Don't worry. Okay, we'll be there by 8. Don't worry. So this is to make a promise. Okay, so you're, you're making a promise to someone. Okay, so next, this one. Last example. No, I will buy iron so from his wedding. All right. I know I'll buy Aaron a surfboard for his birthday. So this is to describe a decision you've just made. Okay, so these are the four ways about the future using will. So here are an activity. So you're going to fill the gaps with either will or to be. Okay, will. Or it could be to be or going to. So you're going to choose your answer either will, to be, or going to. Okay? So just choose okay. your answer here. All right? Understand? Okay. Is that clear? Okay. So you're going to choose or pick either will, to be, or going to. So here is an example. Zoe's going to. Meet Hannah and Kettle in the park this afternoon by the fountain. So now let's try to answer number one. Please read and tell me your answer. Okay, your answer again is? Okay. How about number two? Number two is I promise. Your answer is and well, going to take time. Okay. Number three. Amelia and you are going to buy rest tomorrow. Okay. Last one. You. Uh, you. Is that you are going to be called today. Okay, very good. That's perfect. Next, we have mark whether each sentence is a prediction, offer, promise, or decision. So, example here is Don't worry, I'll make sure I get there in time for the start of your show. The answer is promise. Okay. It's not prediction, it's not offer, and it, and of course, it's not a decision, but it's promise, okay? Understand? Yes. Okay, so always remember that there are four ways about the future. I mean, the future using the word will, right? So these are the four ways. So let's just go back here first. Just a recap. These are the four ways we have. Prediction, offer something to make promise, or it could be describe, okay? Describe the decisions. Okay. All right, so these are the four ways. Now let's go back here. Okay, so now let's try number one. What a great idea. It's such a hot day. I'll have some ice cream too. What's the answer? Prediction, offer, promise, decision. Uh, it's the prediction. Okay. All right. How about the next one? All right. So just, sure. all right. Excuse me for a while. So this one. I just want to correct this for number one. 
what a great idea. It's such a hot day. I have some ice cream too. The answer is decision. Okay. It's the I mean, it's the decision because there's this person which are referring to is want to buy an ice cream because since it's a hot day. Okay. So that's his decision that he wants to buy an ice cream because it's very hot. Okay. So the correct answer is the decision. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. How about number two? Make sure you take a coat, warm, hot, and a scarf. I'll be cold tonight. The answer is? Prediction. Okay, very good. It's the prediction because it's not sure that it'll, it will be going to cold tonight. Okay? So it's only, and I mean, it's only the prediction. Number three, it started raining. I'll make sure I finish painting the fence when the weather is better. Offer. It's the offer, correct. So last one, I look after your dog for you while you're on a vacation. I'll be pleased to do it. It's the... What's that again? Promise. Okay, it's a promise. Correct. All right, very good. So that's all the activity, which is 39.3. So now let's have 39.4. So you're going to listen to the audio and you're going to answer later. Okay. So I will be letting you listen to the audio. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. So just tell me if you can hear or not. Okay. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yes. Okay. So I will be playing the audio again. Hi, Stacy. How are you? Hello, Carla. I'm fine. But what dreadful weather. All this wind and rain. With such bad weather, the traffic will get very heavy. It's freezing cold and pouring with rain here too. My neighbour thinks it'll snow tonight. Well, I've got the heating on and I'll make some soup and a beef casserole to eat tonight. Kevin will be delighted. I'll pick him up after his guitar lesson so he doesn't get soaked waiting for the bus. Hey, why don't you come over to eat this evening too? I'll come and get you on my way to pick up Kevin. I'd love to, but what time will you be here? I like to watch my favourite TV show at five. In that case, I'll pick you up at 5.30. See you later. Bye, Carla, and thank you. All right, I will play the audio again. Hi, Stacy. How are you? Hello, Carla. I'm fine, but what dreadful weather. All this wind and rain. With such bad weather, the traffic will get very heavy. It's freezing cold and pouring with rain here too. My neighbour thinks it'll snow tonight. Well, I've got the heating on and I'll make some soup and a beef casserole to eat tonight. Kevin will be delighted. I'll pick him up after his guitar lesson so he doesn't get soaked waiting for the bus. Hey, why don't you come over to eat this evening too? I'll come and get you on my way to pick up Kevin. I'd love to, but what time will you be here? I like to watch my favourite TV show at five. In that case, I'll pick you up at 5.30. See you later. Bye, Carla, and thank you. All right, is that clear? Yes. Okay, very good. So now let's try to answer this one, but there is an example here. Example question that has already an answer. 
What does Stacy think will happen with the traffic? The answer is Stacy thinks the traffic will get very heavy. So number one, please read the question. Then tell me your answer. Um, so. Yes, read the question first. What will uh, not to eat soup? Okay, very good. Number two. What milk can I do to get a new tally soup? How can I keep him up? Soup. All right, number three. Get spicy upset. I want to offer to meet me, Stacy. In Kevin, this evening, I'll guess. Correct. Number four. When will I uh, pick up Stacy? Uh, 5.30. Okay, so you get the perfect score. Good job. So next page, we have adverbs with will. So... When we say adverbs with will, it's an adverb after will to show how likely you think the future action is to occur. So example, please read. We will properly go skiing when it's national. Next. They will definitely go hiking if it's standing. Next. It will certainly be easier to run in the cool weather. Okay, very good. So these are the adverbs. We have probably, definitely, and certainly. Okay, probably go, definitely go, and certainly be. All right. And these are the action. These are the action or future action Occur, we have skiing, hiking, and run. Okay? So these are the actions yes. for future. So another example, we have verbs that modify the future with will. Please read. I will jump the storm. Will be dangerous. Next. I think it will snow later on. Next one. Sit down of the rain will soon stop. How about this? You know it will be difficult to set because of the rain. Okay. So again, about the verbs that modify the future with will. So like the future with is going to the future with will is often used to say what someone thinks or knows about the future again it is often used to say what someone thinks or know about the future so for example this one doubts okay next we have thinks hopes knows okay so these are the words that are or someone who is thinking or someone who knows about the future okay Okay. All right, so these are the verbs that modify the future. Again, we have from the word in doubts. So show the will phrase is unlikely. This one knows, shows the will phrase, it's a certain, okay? Again, we have doubts, thanks, hopes, and knows. Understand? Yes. Okay. All right, so that's all for tonight. So thank you so much for joining the class and see you next time. Bye-bye.